Hey everybody, it's Crappie Dan with another tip from Crappie Now Magazine on how to rig your boat. Tonight I want to kind of go over a couple of things about mounting depth finders both on aluminum boats and on your regular fiberglass boat. It really doesn't matter which type it is. Uh, what is important is where and how you mount it. One of the key things that you want to make sure of when you're mounting a depth finder in the front of the boat, which is what I've got right now, is to make sure it's angled where you can see it whether you're standing or whether you're sitting in the seats for trolling or spider rigging up front. One of the key things I want to show you up here is using a mount called a decket mount. A decket mount. And as you can see, this mount is angled backwards towards the front of the boat. That's really critical of doing that because as you can see here, it creates an angle for the depth finder to be more facing uh, in an angle to you in the seats. What this is really important about is you can see here how I've got the depth finder angled up so that when I'm standing I can see it up here if I'm jigging for them in trees, I'm jigging in brush piles, when I'm standing I want to have it at a greater angle. As the sun gets higher during the day you want to pull this back down because the glare will become too much for you. The angle forward will also help you when you're running down the water and you want to make sure it's not going to tilt forward towards you. Uh, that it's not going to come loose. This gives it better security to ensure that will not happen. And as you can see, this angle does pitch it forward so that you've got that. The other thing is it allows you to have space between your feet and legs if you're sitting and you're trolling with your seats up front. So it gives you this angle away from you, but yet, see how high it is? It allows me to have it where you can get fingertip action on your depth finder up front without it being too low. And as you can see on this boat, the Ranger, you can see where the plate is where a normal depth finder would be mounted would be too far away from you. You'd have to lean too far forward to be able to work that depth finder. This way it's right there in front of your fingertips. You can see all the detail on the screen. So come up with a, a different way to mount than just gimbals up front because gimbals will give when you're going and pounding down heavy water with an aluminum boat or with one of these boats. So it's real critical to be able to make it to where it's solid. And as you can see, this thing is not going to move. I went through big waves on Kentucky Lake two weeks ago, and you could actually go through this thing. It would not affect this at all. Not at all. So next time you're out and getting ready to rig your boat, make sure on the front end of the boat you want to have a sound mount up front so that it can take the pounding going down the water, whether you have a Luna boat or a fiberglass boat. Until next time, this is Crappy Dan. You have a great fishing weekend coming up.